What's up guys? Welcome back to Weapons Degree 86. My name is Marshall and this is my 1995 Toyota Supra Twin Turbo 6 speed. So today we are going to be putting some endless slotted rotors and some MX-72 brake pads on the rear of the car. Uh, back when I got the car, it came with a SRT8 Jeep brake kit. Um, I believe they were the SRT8 rears. It might have been the Evos. I'm not sure on that. I got rid of them because I don't know what they were. They weren't made to be on a Supra, so I took them off and sold them. So the guy I traded them to gave me these. They are pretty worn out. Uh, brake rotors, they're cross drilled. So if you guys know anything about cross drilled, they're prone to cracking, which is not really what you want your brakes to do. Um, also, I have these purple calipers. These will be ta getting taken off and going to powder coating when I get my Endless Racing 6 front big brake kit. I'm going to take the caliper up there and have the, uh, the powder coat company match them as close as they can to the rears. Not a lot of people upgrade the rear brakes because they are pretty good brakes from the factory. However, I do want a little bit bigger ones in the front. That's why I'm going to the Racing 6. Very expensive, so I haven't ordered them yet. And it take about a month and a half to get them. But today, we're going to be swapping out the rears with these guys. So, if you're here for the brake install, go ahead and I'm going to post where I start the install down below. I um, just want to update my subscribers on what's going on with my cars. Uh, the FRS is still being parted out here. I'm getting it back to as close to stock as I can possibly get it. Uh, the wheels are sold, the suspension is up for sale, it's back on factory suspension. Uh, pretty much everything TRD has been taken off except for the gauge kit which I'm pulling off right now because I already sold it. Um, the roll bar obviously is not going to come out, it's welded in so it's staying in there. But everything else is going back as factory as I can get it. The car is going to be up for sale soon as well once I get the brakes finished pulling the AP Racing Inlet Endurance kit off. We got the factory ones going back on. Uh, also the ISF. The ISF will be taking over for track duty. I have a bunch of parts on order. I'm just waiting for them to show up. But the car itself had been hit previous to me, to me getting it back. Um, an incident where it ended up having the passenger side quarter panel dented in. It looked really bad. Uh, it was actually grinding on the tire until I pried it out with a crowbar. Really hurt my feelings to do that, but I had to do something so I could drive it. So that car is actually at the body shop right now. and They assured me that it would be no issue getting that car looking back to brand new. So they ordered a brand new quarter panel from Lexus, a whole bunch of other little things that they needed, all from Lexus. So it's all OEM parts going on this car. And I should have it back in two to three weeks is what they tell me. So hopefully it's closer to two. But if they need three weeks to get it done and look perfect, I'm completely fine with that. So you're gonna get some super content here. Um, I'd say about two or three weeks, and we'll start popping parts on the ISF once they get it back. So on to the brake install. All right, car's up. Got the wheel off. Uh, on Supras, this little housing here has your emergency brake inside of it, or your parking brake, or the Drifty Boys called the handbrake. All that is inside here, so make sure you have your parking brake off so this will spin freely, which I don't have it off yet. I'm gonna take the parking brake down. I'm gonna pop this caliper off. And we're gonna get to installing the endless rotor, but I'm using brake cleaner to get this like bluish tint off. They sent, they package it like that so it doesn't rust while it's sitting in the box or on the shelf, but it takes a lot to get all the blue stuff off. I've been scrubbing at it for a little bit. I still don't have it all off yet. But I'm gonna keep working on that. All right, so on the back side, there are two 17 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on. I'm gonna loosen both of those, take them out, and get this caliper off. All right, so luckily, my brake line is long enough for me to rest the rotor, excuse me, the caliper on the floor without putting any tension on the brake line. Still plenty of play there. Uh, I have endless brake lines that I installed a few weeks ago. 
And now the caliper is off, so I will remove the rotor, which is barely on there because I just put these on a couple months ago. So I'm gonna pop this off, put the new rotor on, put a couple lug nuts on, and then start cleaning the old rotor or the new rotor while it's on here. All right, so I got all of the residue off of there. The brake caliper is bolted back up. I got the new brake pads in. The uh, brake cleaner kind of ate away my spray painted calipers. Uh, that's okay. Like I said earlier in the video, we're going to be powder coating those soon after I order my uh, endless front kit so we can match that color. So I won't have to worry about this anymore. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna pop the wheel back on, give you a final look at the endless brake disc and the endless brake pads uh, with the Advan GT wheels over top of them. So hold on one sec. All right guys, that's gonna do it. It was a pretty straightforward, simple install, especially on these back uh, rotors. There's only two bolts on the caliper that holds it on. You got a little retention pin uh, that you have to pop off the back of the caliper, but it's pretty simple. These rotors are definitely louder than the, uh, the old black ones that I just took off. So hopefully they perform pretty well. I do plan on tracking this car at least one time, but I only got some uh, the endless MX-72s, which are a street slash circuit pad. It's not a straight circuit, circuit pad like I had on the FRS, which was the G-Locks. So I think once I get my big brake kit on the front, this will look really nice with the black on the blue. And uh, that's gonna do it for this. I'm gonna go do the bed-in process, get these pads all bedded in, and then see how she performs. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and bedded in the MX-72 brake pads. Uh, MX-72 brake pads. They are pretty grippy, uh, good, good torque. However, I haven't got the front ones on yet, but I just ordered them. Uh, I ordered new pads for the front. I think they look pretty awesome other than having the purple brake caliper there. But we'll be fixing that soon once I order my big brake kit for the front. So that's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. If you stayed this long and you liked what, if you liked the video and you wanna follow my Supra build or my ISF build, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, out of 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away, I believe, five t-shirts. I'm working on the design right now and hopefully by December, we'll have a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna be continue to try to put out a video weekly, um, no certain date. However, I am gonna be trying to get on that weekly. So, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out Weapons Free 86, and I'll see y'all next video.